Welcome to Abby's Den. This machine's been brought in to me. It's been clanging, so the customer says. We've been trying to work out what it could be. So we've tried sewing it and identifying different problems. We've opened the housing, completely taken everything apart. And let me show you what we've discovered. Okay, the needle's hitting the hook this hook here of the so as that comes round and the needle comes down and it's at that point there touching the needle you can't actually see it very well but you can hear it so if we just be quiet for a second It's a very tiny ting. Okay, so we worked out how to fix this. And we basically got to move the whole of this, this needle mechanism here. Um, we've got to sort of m move it away like that. So that means the top needs to go that way so that the bottom comes out. So we found out how to do that. And there's um, a little a uh, screw adjustment here, which is an Allen key to sort it out. Okay, so we can, in this case, we can undo it a bit. I'm not quite sure how much I'll, <clears throat> I'll do it like that. Let's see. What was that, half a turn? That's about three quarters of a turn. You really, um, so if I now look again, well, the only way you can see whether it's fixed is if it, the ting has gone away. It's still tinging, just a little bit less. So if I adjust it a bit more, I'm gonna do another half turn. Okay, so we're gonna put it back together and test it. Yeah. Okay. Because the other thing I have to remember is that it, it also this in the middle position as well. So you should really check it at all positions. That's it. Will stay there. So if we put the needle over to the left. So we're okay over that side. And if we're in the middle, we'd be okay as well. Mm -hmm. So we're okay in all positions. It's nice and slow. So we need to make sure the needle's not gonna hit the needle plate. And it's just touching it. So, what we need to do is just get the Allen key back and rewind some of the movements. So we went anti-clockwise before, so we need to go clockwise. And we turned it one and three quarters. We're going to put another before, half. So we put another half. So we turn it back half. For that. that was that for good measure, wasn't it? And let's see. So it's still too far forward. It's best to put the screws in as well so that you make sure your needle plate's in the right position. So I think it's too forward. So I'm just turn it back. I'll do it a quarter now. It's still a bit close. There. It's moving, but not. It does move, I can see it. Yeah. There's a perfect but dead centre. So if we just thread it up and just have a go and see if we're still getting that clanging. So we can check if the timing has been affected by doing this as well. Flip it over so we can check. Oh, that's perfect, isn't it? Great. 
I'm going to show us how to do the tension. So if the tension does get affected, set the tension at the top to auto and there's a tiny screw inside the bobbin that you can access through this little hole and you can just alter the tension there. We're not going to change it. But if it does get affected, you can use that screw inside there and make sure you get an even stitch on both the front and the back. Great. Right.